what's up you guys it's rj welcome back to my channel so we are on to the next set of videos from dreamcatcher which is going to be what and peri pity peri i'm not sure how that's pronounced but the letters are all in all caps so i wonder if this is like a like a place or something or i'm not sure what kind of meaning it means has <laughs> um but i guess we'll find out in the mv uh thank you guys so much for in the comments actually for my last dreamcatcher video for kind of giving me a little bit of backstory in a way um, of what the MV is. There were a lot of interesting comments that had like some really good information or a backstory rather behind the other MVs. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm anxious to see what these next two are gonna bring. Um, I am watching them from the Happy Face Entertainment uh, channel, which was also recommended because apparently One the K doesn't have the uh, subtitles, which is, I don't know, which is really random, I guess, but um, so yeah, we are gonna go ahead and get started. Let's go. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Oh, wow, orange hair. Whoa. Where go? Trying to read the lyrics and pay attention to the visuals too. The orange hair is so eye-catching. Is there a group out there like this, honestly? They're like in their own lane. I like that dance move. <laughs> Isn't that that book from Chase Me? Wait, I want to hear that rap again. Wasn't that that book, though? Wasn't it that book? <laughs> I feel like it was. I like this part of the song. 
So what language is not being translated? Is that Japanese? Interesting. Alone in the city is what it's what that title is called. Okay. Hmm. So I wonder if that like song was essentially like not being able to wake up from what you think is a nightmare. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure in the slightest. Um, I was trying to pick up on what was happening. That 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 MV is the type of MV I feel like would take a few watches to maybe understand because I don't feel like there was a lot of imagery happening. It was more like they seem to have been lost or something. And like I mean like story story uh line wise in the in the video, like you understand what I'm saying. Like they can't find their way out of whatever this is. And so maybe they're like trying to understand where they are. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, but I'll have to watch it again for sure. Okay, so let's check out the next one. Uh, the P word. <laughs> um, I hope it's said in here so I understand actually how to pronounce it and not butcher it. Oh. Choreography. did mention in the lyrics something about even though I'm lost and wandering around so maybe I was onto something with them not being trapped in this like nightmare that and they're not sure like what is real and what's not real maybe and how did she get here hold on I'm gonna go back I apologize but I think she like something black goo came out of this thing that she's holding and then she ended up in like <laughs> Oh, okay. She's beautiful. Low the TV. Is that thing a pity? Oh, 
What is that teeth? Ew. Yikes. I like this part. I like the whistling. So are they talking to themselves? Because they keep saying like, I'll wait for you the day you come. But it seems like, like she took the veil off, it was her. She looked in the mirror, it was her. Are they waiting for themselves to save themselves? Is the pity like a whistle? Like, because the whistle was happening? It's interesting how the two of these MVs kind of like blended in a way. Like they, they were still doing a lot of wandering in in this second one. Um, but in this one, they actually kind of spoke about being lost and wandering around and wanting to be saved. And I think they want to be saved by themselves from what they have like gotten themselves into. And I'm thinking that pity is a whistle. I don't know for sure, but when they say blow the pity, if I'm pronouncing that right, I think it's, and then the whistle was happening in the background of the song. So I'm wondering if that's what they were saying. And maybe the whistle is like a, like a wake up for them or something, or I could be completely wrong. Honestly, I would not be surprised if I was <laughs> because this is like on a first watch for the both of these. So, I mean, and I'm, and I've noticed that their their music is very, very story driven. Uh, like it's not like your typical songs about love or whatever. Like a lot of their music has just been kind of having to following along this like, you know, story from the jump. And it's very interesting. And it almost kind of makes it a, a bit more challenging to follow because the lyrics are very um, unusual, I guess, in the sense that you you really have to pay attention. So I kind of like enjoy that about them because it's it's different from what I'm like reacting to on my channel, which is why I say like, is there another group out there like this? Cause like they're kind of in their own lane and I feel like they're the only ones kind of doing something like this where it's just, it's very heavy on the story. Um, but it's really enjoyable too because it's very mysterious and I like mystery and so it's fun to kind of like unravel what's happening as I watch it um, and you guys have been helping with me with that too and because I definitely don't expect to understand everything that's happening immediately uh, but obviously with time I'll be able to kind of like have a general idea of what's happening in the story for sure all right thanks so much for hanging out with me today you guys if you like the video leave a like and a comment and subscribe maybe hit the notification bell if that's your thing and I'll catch you guys in the next video later